We got a call from DPS letting us know that the homicide unit was on scene and that Mason may not make it. Um, and Mason did nothing wrong. Mm. That crash in January almost killing a Canadian County deputy and the teenage son of Senate pro Tim Greg Treat. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bobby Miller and I'm Carl Torb. Treat is now working to fix what he calls a gap in the law, hoping that no other family has to go through what he went through. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wagger sat down with the Senate pro Tem. We all remember our first car, the Freedom. It drives into your soul. It's something you never forget. Mason Treat sure won't forget his, but it's for a much different reason. Mason was driving his new car to basketball practice on January 5th when he was pulled over because he didn't have a license plate. Mason was showing him the bill of sale, copy of the title. That's when a sleepy driver ran off the road directly into Mason's car. Uh, we got a call from DPS letting us know that the homicide unit was on scene and that Mason may not make it. Um, and Mason did nothing wrong. Now Mason's dad is doing what he can to make a change. It's the most important thing because our family was adversely impacted by an unintentional gap in the law. So Senate Pro Tim Greg back, Treat has filed a bill which he hopes will help drivers and law enforcement. The deputy, to his credit, did nothing wrong. The deputy was just trying to do his job and enforce the law. But if you have a private cell, uh, so you and I transact and I sell you my car, for 60 days you could go completely without a tag and be com completely compliant with Oklahoma law. Anybody without a license plate is likely to be pulled over because law enforcement has no way to decipher between who's following the law and who's breaking it. My bill will fix that. My bill will allow you almost instantaneously to get a metal tag. It would allow private sales to be registered online, allowing an immediate notification that the car has been switched over. Everyone's coming to the table. The pro Tim is hoping his legislation will fill that gap and save the next family from what his has been through. Yeah, it's it's been the roughest uh, period of, of time that we've ever been through as a family. After spending 20 days in the hospital between the ICU and Bethany Children's Hospital, Mason is at home with his family. His parents say he has a long road ahead, but they're thankful he's with them today. For Oklahoma Zone, I'm Haley Wager.